In this video, we'll look at how to add the Chart.js DX Bar Gauge widget to a web page. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, Chart.js, Globalize, and jQuery. I've also referenced the JavaScript file where I'm going to set configuration options for the DX Bar Gauge widget. Like any widget from the Chart.js library, the DX Bar Gauge widget can be added using the jQuery, Knockout, or AngularJS approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach and adding the DX Bar Gauge widget using the DX Bar Gauge plugin. First, let's define a gauge scale by setting its start and end values. Now, let's specify the values that we want to be indicated on the scale. And let's take a look at the result. Now I'll change the gauge palette and a background color to provide another look for the gauge. Labels are accessible for customization using the Label Configuration object. I'll change the format of the gauge values in labels. In addition, let's enable tooltips. By default, a gauge value is displayed in a tooltip. Next, let's format tooltip values like I've done for labels. To demonstrate how to update gauge values dynamically, I'll emulate a race. Let's register the location of racers for each period of time. And add a start button. In the click event handler of this button, via the values method of the gauge instance, I'll get the gauge values. Then I update the gauge values repeatedly until all the racers reach the finish. To display the current racer's location in kilometers, let's customize the text displayed in labels. And here's the result. Finally, let's change the animation easing type from cubic to linear. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.